Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple, once said, innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. He said, technology by itself doesn't make leaders. Technology only amplifies leadership. A very good morning to one and all present here. It gives me immense pleasure to extend to you a very warm welcome. We have assembled here for one day international seminar on innovation, technology and development. Let us begin with the prayer song. I invite Joel on stage. There shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing, sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercy drops round us of falling, but for the showers we plead. But for the shows we played. I request Dr. Shalini Matthews, head of the department, to welcome the gathering. Good morning, everyone. Respected manager, Reverend Dr. Abhilash Grigari, our dear principal, Professor Cynthia Catherine Michael, the guest of honor, Professor Roberto Mavlia, Professor W.A. Prakash, Dr. Titus, my dear colleagues, research scholars, and dear students. On behalf of the Department of Economics, I extend a warm welcome to you all. Our dear principal, Professor Cynthia Catherine Michael, stand among us as a pillar of encouragement always. I welcome you, arrangement and motivation for us. I welcome you, Father. It gives me great pleasure to welcome the guest of honor, Professor Roberto Mavilia. We feel blessed to have among us today. So I welcome you to the event. Dr. Titus, our former head of the department and presently self-financing coordinator, is always a mentor for us. I welcome you, sir, to this event. Now I welcome my dear colleagues who are always supports with me to the day-to-day -day, to day -to -day affairs of the department. I cordially welcome you all. A warm welcome to the IQC team members, our research scholars, students who have gathered here with the keen interest and enthusiasm. Thank you all. Ma'am, now I request Professor. A very good morning to one and all. Respected manager, Reverend Dr. Abhilash Gregory, chief guest of the day, Professor Robert O. Mavilia, of the day, Professor Robert O. Mavilia, Professor B.A. Pragash, head of the department, B.A. Pragash, head of the department of economics, Dr. Shalini Matthews, Dr. Mary Anthony, respected faculty members of economics department and respected faculty members of economics department, 
and my dear my dear students iqac team it gives me great pleasure to stand before you on this day today we have the international seminar on innovation technology and development this program came up in technology and development this program came up at a very short notice and we are really grateful to professor roberto for having accepted our invitation and coming over to fatima mother national college as you all know it was not uh, pre planned but still i appreciate the effort taken by the department of economics in organizing this seminar and you students and you're re really lucky as you all know i have um, uh one small uh, was, uh life experience which which i would say uh, regarding professor roberto i have been to his i was lucky enough to visit uh, rome i think around 10 to 12 times now you might might be wondering i am just shuttling to and fro no it was during my childhood my father was a teacher in nigeria so our flight tickets used to be reroute like uh, routed through uh, italy rome so uh, each time we go when we are coming to india and when we return uh, my father used to make it a point to visit new places so rome was the common destination and uh, we were able to visit the churches uh, the uh, small towns there and the city i'm sure there must be that must that was in the 70s and the 80s quite ancient to you guys so i'm sure there must have been a lot of uh, development there and uh, it is a wish of mine to visit italy once again sometime in the future not immediately so as you all know our world is progressing we are moving ahead towards different directions we cannot define uh what is in future for us because of technology life is not what it was in especially my young age i did not know how to we did not have landlines now you for you guys landlines were are quite ancient you might have seen some uh, phone like that but you all have a gadget in your hand but it was not at all imagined of earlier and now uh, i i still remember during my la one of my travels the first time i touched a landline was in the year 1985 okay and uh, the phones were not there in all the homes only you had to book a trunk and uh, if you had to call and then you had to ask the person to come there to that particular house where the phone was and then you had to call at a later time uh, and uh, speak to uh, that person so this is just a small example of technology and innovation and development and the rest you know the rest is history i remember when mobile phones first came the incoming as well as outgoing calls were charged can you imagine that now when we have free calls and free internet just by recharging your phone for one month or two months you get 1.5 uh, gb data free 2 gb data free 6 gb data free etc etc so this is the change that has come about in our life and i am sure professor roberto will be able to throw light this day for all of us regarding the developments i thank you sir for having accepted our invite and coming over to fatima college once again i hope you all have a nice day thank you thank you very much ma'am most respectfully i request the manager reverend dr abhilash gregory to inaugurate the seminar
dear respected principal professor cynthia catherine michael guest of honor professor roberto mavila dr titus aya self financing coordinator dr shanley matthews head of the department of economics dr mary anthony assistant professor of the department all my dear professors iqsc members and my dear students first and foremost i would like to congratulate the department of economics for conducting this international seminar on innovation technology and development congratulations to you all secondly i should welcome once again and thank dr roberto for having come over here and you have accepted our invitation and i am sure that you will be enriching our students with your wisdom welcome and thank you value is an important concept in economics as economic students you should be able to differentiate different types of values everything has a value some value can be measured some value cannot be measured for example what you have the love you have the compassion you have cannot be measured but we have as god is important should know the value of what we have we value of what we have we should should know the value of what we have otherwise we will be easily exploited because exploitation is the normal norm of today's society not only today ester years where we had great stories of ex exploitation so first and foremost we should know the value of what you have right now you have students you have got some value you have students you have got some value your time have got some value so you shouldn't be able to know the value of you of what you have secondly you should know how to use these valuable commodities you have that is another important aspect you should know how to use the valuable things you have otherwise you it will be useless to have this valuable thing with you for example the time we we have the time is a valuable commodity and if we do not know how to use it it is useless we have we have and finally we should add and finally we should add value to the things we have right now otherwise it also will be useless it will be just going into memory so things we have right now otherwise it also will be useless it will be just going into memory so adding value is something important in economics and commerce and that is what we are trying to do today this seminar is about innovation technology and development we are trying to add value to what we have as students we are trying to add value to your knowledge with the presence of professor robert as students you should always try to add value to your what you have right now and i hope that this seminar will be a step towards this goal adding value to what you have because as students of economics and commerce you should be able to know of value so the world is changing very fast and if we do not add values to what we have right now you will be just thrown away from the mainstream i hope that this may go bless you all thank you may i now request dr now request dr titus coordinator of dr titus coordinator of self financing stream
to introduce the chief guest of the day. Honourable Father Manager, Respected Principal, uh, very respected Professor Roberto Mabilia, respected Head of the Department of Economics, uh, Dr. Mary Anthony, members of uh, uh, faculty, and my dear students. I'm honored to stand before you today uh, to introduce a renowned scholar and expert in the field of innovation management, Professor Roberto Mavilia. With a distinguished career spanning academia and research, Professor Mavilia has made significant contributions to our understanding of the impact of science and technology parks on businesses, particularly through his empirical research in Italy. Professor Roberto Mavilia currently holds the prestigious position of full professor of innovation management at Bacconi University, one of the Italy's foremost institutions in economics, finance, law, management, public administration, political science, and computer science. Also, he is affiliated with the University for Foreigners, Dante Alighieri, Reggio Calabria, Italy, where his work continues to inspire and shape the minds of future innovators and entrepreneurs. Today, we are privileged to hear Professor Mavilia speak on a topic of great importance in the ever-evolving landscape of innovation and technology. His presentation titled, The Effect of Science and Technology Parks on the Firm, Empirical Evidence from Italy, promises to shed light on the vital road that science and technology is to shed light on the vital role that science and technology parks play in fostering innovation, entrepreneurship, and economic development within the Italian context. Professor Mavilia's extensive research and empirical evidence in this area will offer valuable insights into how science and technology parks impact firms of all sizes, from small startups to established enterprises, and how they contribute to regional and national innovation ecosystems. His expertise in this domain has influenced academia and informed policy decisions and industry practices. Dear students, Fatima Mata National College, the management of this college, the IQSC of this college, and the Department of Economics and various departments frequently organize academic programs like this because we want our students to take the, your le learning beyond successful completion of your programs, beyond, su success, beyond successful completion of your courses. We want your learning to last, to have a profound influence on your understanding about the world and shape the sense of who you are. So James Salen, the famous author of As a Man Thinketh, once said, cherish your visions, cherish your ideals, cherish the music that stirs in your heart, the beauty that forms in your mind, the loveliness that drapes your finest thoughts. For out of them will grow all your delightful conditions, all heavenly environment. Uh, of this, if you remain true to them, your life will be built. As we gather today, we are fortunate to have Professor Mavilia share his knowledge and expertise with us. Undoubtedly, his presentation will be enlightening, thought-provoking, and inspiring for all of us who are passionate about innovation and its transformative power. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Professor Roberto Maglia to Fatima. Now, I request our Reverend Father Manager to give away a memento to Professor Roberto uh, Maglia. Also, request Professor Maglia to accept our token of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Now, 
Now I invite respected Professor Roberto Mavilia to share a few words with us. Hello everyone. Is uh, I am blessed today to be here with you with the, this uh, university, with this college. I I would like to thank you, Professor Cinzia. Catherine Michael and uh, Reverend uh, Reverend uh, Abilash Gregory uh, to invite me here to to share my with you. It's a very pleasure for me uh, to have uh, so uh, young students, so young uh, uh, people who will. Uh, uh, hear about my experience on innovation and development studies. And uh, I am sure, as always, I will, uh, uh, I will uh, be, a, I will, uh, uh, I will uh, be a better uh, uh, professor tomorrow because uh, I will uh, learn a lot of this experience. So I am very grat grateful to you all, okay. Uh, Reverend Abilash Gregory told before about value. Uh, we don't have to forget that innovation and technology are, are only tools. Tools for what? In the late uh, 20, 30 years, we, we, we had uh, uh, phenomenal impact of uh, technology on our lives lives so the innovation technology that uh, impact uh, our lives impact uh, above all our relationship so that's a great uh, uh, objective of uh, uh, innovation and technology to give value to all our relationship because uh, uh, only with relationship we can improve our knowledge and uh, we can uh, uh, transfer our ideas we can learn other ideas other social uh, phenomenon and uh, we we can have a better li lives so the value of relationship is a value that we can't forget we can uh, we can uh, we we have to foster this value with the innovation and technology so innovation technology must be the main tools to foster our relationship uh, because with, without relationship uh, we don't have uh, we don't have a uh, uh, um, a landscape uh, because in in history if, if you can if you can see it i don't want to um, debate all of on religious thing but uh, if you see in the bible everything is uh, on is based on relationship adamo adam and eve cain and abel mose iron and maria so everyone, every every experience is a relationship. So also the scripture relay on relationship. So the the, the now the innovation technology we must use to foster to improve our relationship, and our relationship not are, are not only to be based only on pair pair to pair relationship. So. I don't have to to have a relationship only with uh, uh, other people who are who has uh, the same uh, knowledge level as me, because uh, as uh, we start with the GlobalX experience, GlobalX is uh, an inter, uh, global network of academics that studies innovation, and uh, we started 20 years ago, and uh, uh, next week there will be the 20th uh, anniversary of GlobalX in uh, Trivandrum. That's why I am uh, here in India. 
and uh, Globelix is based on the interaction between scholars, between scholars of the global north, the, of the globe, of the north and the south. Okay, and um, uh, after the first years of this, this experience, we we felt that uh, that uh, not only uh, scholars from the south were learning from us but also us from the north we, we we were learning and we have a lot to learn from the south because uh, how the south uh, tr is trying to improve the economic and the social status uh, we have to learn to learn a lot of the thing of of this uh, of this transformation okay uh, so uh, that, that's that's only um, I will go on uh, on this um, on, on, my, on my speech uh, through the main uh, the main uh, theme the main topic of uh, this speech that is uh, uh, science park and on firms but before I want to to share with you some my idea I want also to interact with you uh, because um, uh, is uh, we always uh, we also we always use this uh, innovation and uh, technology to 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 say that is uh, um, a tool to improve our development our economic and social development but uh, all we we don't know, we don't know often how to use effectively innovation and technology and uh, how innovation technology is uh, gay, uh, get the leadership of uh, new new things new new system new paradigm so uh, as the story says not always the best technology is with, with a leader uh, for example i make a, a, an easy example you you know that your keyboard the, your keyboard is uh, called uh, QWERTY, because the first five letters of the keyboard are Q, W, E, R, T, Y, okay? So it's called QWERTY. But uh, after, uh, after uh, they made this keyboard, this uh, uh, disposition of, of keyboard, uh, technology studies uh, the best disposition of the the keys uh, are not the one we are using so at the, when when we when we um, uh, get that, that uh, uh, the disposition was was not the best one of the qwerty uh, we were in a point that uh, all people that learn how to digit in a, quer in a qwerty had a transition cost to move in another disposition that were very high for people. So uh, we left that disposition also if is not the best disposition of keys. So not always the, the technology we use, the technology that lead the market is the best one. And we, we, we must uh, be aware of this, okay? And uh, uh, the last uh, tw 20, 30 years uh, in, um, in, my, in my studies, uh, I, I started to, to, studies, to study innovation and, and technology that were connected with the internationalization. So uh, the international trade were a proxy for uh, uh, foster innovation and technology uh, in the world we we use to uh, to we like uh, uh, italy uh, europe uh, usa the the big uh, the big countries on, on uh, 30 years ago we used to have uh, 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 now is a uh, uh, as has been seen uh, as uh, a knowledge, uh, uh, knowledge 
for, uh, for these multinational enterprises to foster innovation and knowledge. So uh, this, uh, this kind of international trade was a, a, a good proxy for developing country to improve their status, not only economic status, but their knowledge status. So it's very important for, uh, it, it has been very important for uh, developing country to collaborate with in international trade with developed country. And uh, Globalix, uh, that is the uh, network, uh, that it, it stands for Global uh, Academic Network in International Study for Competence and Learning Studies. Okay. And uh, we we uh, we used to organize uh, every year a summer school where uh, a prominent scholar uh, from the north uh, i say the north as a, a developed the countries uh, where pro prom prominent scholars from the north give lectures to 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 other uh, to uh, PhD students or other students, master's, postgraduate students from the South. That, that um, interaction for us, uh, it's very important because uh, uh, only with uh, a social develop, uh, de development of uh, uh, developing countries of, uh, of uh, all human being, uh, we, 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 we must, uh, we have to be, um, uh, we we can live in a better way all all together. Okay, so uh, I I I don't know if I I I can uh, I have to go on with my speech or. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So uh, later we we can uh, we can uh, uh, go deep uh, in. Uh, some particular aspect of my technical speech, but uh, I would like also after to interact with you on uh, how innovation and technology foster development and foster social improvement. Thank you very much. So uh, I can. Thank you very much, sir. Henry Ward Beecher once said, Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. Henry Ward Beecher once said, Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. I request Dr. Mary Anthony, Assistant Professor of the Department of Economics, to present the vote of Department of Economics, to present the vote of thanks. Respected dignitaries on the dais, faculty members, and dear students, good morning to one and all. It's an honor and privilege to express my sincere thanks and express my sincere thanks and gratitude to this August gathering. First of all, I would like to place on record my sincere thanks to Professor Cynthia Catherine Michael, Professor principal of the college who presided of this inaugural session. My profound gratitude to Reverend Dr. Abhilash Grigari, manager of the college for gracing this occasion with the inaugural address. On behalf of the Department of Economics, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude and thanks to our guest of honor, Professor Roberto Mavilia, for being with us on this occasion. We truly acknowledge and appreciate all your endeavor in sharing your knowledge and expertise with our student community. I'm sure the forthcoming academic session is with our student community. I'm sure the forthcoming academic session will inspire the students to excel in their chosen domain. My gratitude and thanks to Dr. Titus Zaya, former head of the Department of Economics and currently the
the coordinator of the self, self financing stream for the sincere efforts and unstinted support for the success of this program. I would like to express my thanks to Dr. Shalini Matthews, Head Department of Economics, for her genuine efforts in organizing this event. Thanks to all my colleagues and dear students who participate in this seminar. Finally, I thank the IQSC of the college and management for the constant support and guidance to this program. Thank you all. Thank you very much, ma'am. Let us now move on to the technical session. So, thank you again to be here with me. I would like to thank you before, because uh, before uh, I uh, I didn't uh, thank you, me, me, uh, Dr. Shalini Matthews, to invite me. It was the first uh, uh, person that invited me. Also, uh, Dr. Mary Anthony to to give me this. Uh, 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 gr greetings and uh, thanks and uh, also Titus uh, Dr. Titus Ayer uh, uh, came uh, this morning to pick up me okay and uh, 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 as you can see it is, uh, I would like to, to leave this last this last uh, uh, topic uh, at the end of our of our journey, because it's not it's useful for you to know how it's not so. This will be the topic that will we will talk later because uh, before i want to uh, to uh, share with you uh, all my experience on knowledge uh, innovation and, and technology st uh, studies so uh, because this topic is a very specific topic uh, on uh, our last uh, uh, studies that was pub published on technology forecasting and social change uh, and uh, give us uh, the uh, a final uh, a final uh, thought a final uh, way of thinking a final way of study how a innovation and technology impact on firm performance that uh, is what you you are studying okay but uh, before that, uh, I want to introduce you that uh, uh, we, we, in Italy, we, um, we arrived at the Science and Technology Park uh, uh, through a multi-year experience. So at the beginning of the 90s in Italy, there were the so-called industrial district. So, district where uh, all uh, the 
were district not uh, policy dri driven or were self uh, uh, self uh, made district industrial district and were formed by small and medium enterprises that uh, uh, were specialized in one sector so we had in italy uh, many industrial district at, at the end of uh, after the second world war and uh, until the end of the 90s and uh, what happened to the, this district where this district were uh, as, as i said before well safe made a district on of uh, small and medium enterprises that uh, share uh, on a specific sector that uh, share each other knowledge on a specific sector so we had uh, a district of fashion we have a district of uh, uh, automotive in uh, torino uh, we had the district of uh, uh, most of italian uh, famous uh, artisanal uh, artisanal um, component so uh, uh, artisanal um, component so uh, this di industrial district uh, uh, where uh, most of the small and medium enterprises uh, interacted with uh, each other uh, were uh, about the 40% of uh, the GDP of Italian GDP. So Italian GDP in the, in the beginning of the 90s uh, were based uh, mostly on small and medium enterprises. Uh, the same as Spain, uh, the same as the south of Europe, because uh, there were not uh, big uh, multinational enterprises. So only a uh, few multinational enterprises were uh, fr from uh, uh, Italy. And, uh, and uh, the GDP, the economic uh, value of uh, a nation, uh, uh, in Italy were predomin pre predominantly made by small and medium enterprises. I mean, for small and medium enterprises, uh, in firms that uh, had uh, uh, maximum 50, uh, 50 workers. So uh, most of them were uh, family firms. Uh, so... Uh, the knowledge, as you know, can be transmitted in two, in two ways. Uh, tacit, in a tacit way, and a codified way. Okay. So, for example, codified way is the way you, you are learning how to do things, how to, for example, an engineer to, uh, to construct a semiconductor or something like that. But uh, tacit knowledge uh, for, for some sector is very important because uh, there are things that uh, you can uh, not uh, transmit with the codified knowledge. So you must know about how to use this instrument or, or, or uh, uh, this instrument, this new technology of uh, uh, innovation. So. With the tacit knowledge, uh, we um, uh, in the in, in this this industrial district uh, we face uh, 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 not uh, 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 there are two type of innovation: radical innovation, innovation and uh, uh, um, imp improvement innovation. So there are also innovation of product or in innovation of process so in this uh, uh, um, this uh, uh, in the industrial this di di district we face the more uh, uh, not radical innovation so some improvement innovation and improvement of process so how to process uh, a, a, a good to make a final good 
to, to sell the final the final good and um, in this um, industrial district uh, there were not uh, formal uh, formal uh, interaction between firms they were all informal so uh, everyone knew each other everyone trust each other so everything was informal what happened to this industrial district we i remember you that we were in the first beginning of the 90s where uh, uh, europe uh, uh, were building uh, itself uh, and the, where there was, was there was a transition by national uh, currency to a uh, European currency uh, and the national government uh, used to uh, use this and uh, use to uh, use this uh, the value of national currency as a tool to improve ex exportation so this um, uh, industrial district uh, uh, were based not only on at the beginning were were based on uh, on quality but uh, during times uh, uh, they were also based on uh, competition of price made by the level of the currency the italian lira at, at the at the time uh, the level of the currency that lost the uh, enterprise inside this, this district to sell outside Italy okay so value the value of national currency were used a lot to improve exportation of this uh, uh, this uh, national uh, uh, these firms that were located into this in, in, uh, industrial district and uh, what happened uh, in the late 90s uh, happened two things one uh, was uh, the change of the paradigm uh, of the logistic so uh, distance were not more a problem in the late 90s uh, because uh, before uh, the uh, the the distance between firms that uh, produced and the firms that sell one one uh, one good uh, was very important because uh, the transportation uh, were not so ma mature so were not so good enough uh, to 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 uh, to have um, to have uh, an economic in favorite in impact on uh, on uh, on the selling on the global value chain on the value chain so at the end of the 90s logistic uh, change the industrial paradigm of italy and of all the world so uh, another thing that changed uh, the paradigm for uh, these uh, national firms uh, was uh, the uh, the negative effect of uh, ha to have uh, a unique uh, ma uh, currency, so the euro, and uh, the pro uh, so the the firms in inside this industrial district face the problem that the price were not more competitive as before so there were a crisis on this industrial district and a lot of small and medium enterprises were uh, were forced to close okay um, that but this change the way of um, of uh, ma manage management of the uh, um, of uh, the f small and, f f uh, and medium enterprises in Italy because uh, the firms that survived to this crisis uh, were uh, allowed to access uh, to new 
way of uh, knowledge interaction with the uh, university, with, uh, uh, with the or, uh, national organization of technology. That's very important. And in these studies, we see that it's not only, uh, we can, uh, uh, the best, uh, uh, the best science and technology park that will that have an, a positive impact on firms are the ones that are not made, for example, in a desert, but are made in places where where already uh, there were already firms that. Uh, were specialized uh, sector specialized in that uh, in that uh, uh, specific technology. So uh, we can with policy, public policy, we can't uh, create uh, knowledge from zero, but we must stand on previous knowledge, uh, existing knowledge, to better use uh, public money to. Uh, with the public policy so it's very important for for uh, uh, public policy to know to understand where to invest public money and to have a positive effect i think is the same for developing countries because you can create a, a science and technology park for example on micro on semiconductor in a place where there is not a engineer university where there is not enough students enough engineer enough student of that specific topic so we you must create you must create also the economic relationship between this place and the other place where the value chain will interact. Uh, and after the COVID uh, pandemic, uh, we also saw that uh, the value chain uh, that uh, were, uh, that relayed in with the international uh, uh, trade are not uh, enough for uh, make uh, uh, this uh, science and technology park to survive. Because uh, as we saw, there was a shock, ex exogenous shock uh, with the pandemic that um, uh, what we learn about this shock uh, that uh, we a nation don't have to be specialized only in one or more sector but uh, must be specialized in all of sec in all sector because an exogenous uh, exogenous shock can appear can uh, uh, come again and can uh, can uh, co co cause difficulties in uh, allowing goods from uh, external so external countries so it's important uh, for public policy to invest not only in sector where uh, where uh, where the country is most uh, uh, competitive but also must invest a uh, must uh, fund sector where country is not competitive to make this sector not competitive as the other nation but more competitive and uh, uh, enough competitive to ensure uh, 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 to ensure enough uh, enough uh, uh, furniture during uh, uh, exogen exogen shock like could be a pandemic or earthquake or something like a, a war. So we, in the last five years, uh, we faced uh, two main pandemic, uh, exogenous shock. One is uh, the pandemic, one is uh, the war, the war in Ukraine. So these two shock affected the 
I think the European and the most of the world economy uh, because uh, uh, cut this global value chain that uh, allows enterprises, firms in the nation to have uh, competitive, uh, uh, competitive goods at a lower price. So we must be aware now of these, uh, of these uh, failures, market failure. So what about uh, innovation and uh, technology? Uh, uh, so uh, at the beginning of uh, our uh, two, 2000 years, uh, new paradigms uh, were, uh, we face a new paradig technology paradigm. Uh, we, which uh, we, uh, I'm, I'm you, which were the main changes in the last session, for example? Uh, other change, main changes you you can you can suggest me during the last twenty years? Digitalization, communications. So, so every. Uh, innovation and, tech and uh, technology affects uh, aspect of uh, our social uh, lives. So they improve uh, our the, they improve uh, a lot on uh, our knowledge of other real reality as uh, better better uh, life. Uh, uh, better life, better uh, health instruments, better uh, health uh, knowledge. Uh, so uh, technology innovation uh, uh, had a uh, positive impact on our lives. Had also a negative impact. Uh, for, for example, can you, can you say some negative impact of uh, new technologies of our social uh, life? Negative. What? Yeah, so uh, your colleague is, uh, is saying that uh, technology changed the wave of some jobs. So the future jobs uh, are, are national uh, uh, union nation uh, uh, report uh, uh, said that uh, we don't know, we actually don't know the names of the jobs that will be in 10 years. For example, the last job that uh, were created uh, is uh, you, 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 every one of you know chat GPT. Do you know what is it? Yeah. Uh, there is a, a new job that has been created that is a prompt engineering. What, what, what is this job? Is the way that uh, human must in, could interact with the uh, artificial intelligence so the way we we might demand the right question okay we uh, prob uh, uh, probability to have a negative uh, um, uh, 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 probability to have a negative uh, um, uh, a reply that is not does not meet our expectation because so a new job from uh, artificial intelligence were made last year that is prompt engineering so the way that you can interact is uh, some uh, is like a translator from uh, what we need and what the artificial intelligence can give us uh, so if uh, there is not uh, uh, a good translator, uh, so a good prop engineering that uh, can uh, make uh, us in contact with artificial intelligence, we, we, can, we can get the wrong uh, replies to our question. That's, that's a good uh, 
uh, that uh, 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 a new job and in the future with the uh, new artificial intelligence block blockchain and new technology that uh, is, is uh, they are developing now the the next 10 year we are facing uh, the the changes of the future of the of the jobs so we we must we you must think about how the world could be in next 10 years also for for your expectation to find a job okay so which for example which job for you are will be impacted which for example which job for you are will be impacted by artificial intelligence Do you think there will be a lawyer, a good lawyer, or so many lawyers that we have, we have now in next five, ten years with artificial intelligence? What do you think? I think there will be a, 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 a chat GPT that will make a law. A, what we lacked as a lawyer and will write a, a, a legal act directly with the expectation of knowing that 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 kind of judge willing that kind of judge that will judge the, that 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 uh, that act so it will profile that kind of judge and make the right act, legal act to find the, a good, uh, a good uh, resolution of uh, the controversy. So I am also speaking uh, for uh, some of uh, controversy. The, uh, the, for, for example, for uh, the, uh, the the controversy that have a, a low value, that will be a, a chat GPT judge that will. Uh, uh, what that will solve that controversy and uh, what about uh, a medical uh, doctor general medical doctor do, do you often go to a medical doctor to 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 have not not for uh, heavy problem heavy health problem but for uh, uh, for uh, for a cold or for uh, uh, for many of the symptoms that we have every day uh, could be an artificial intelligence uh, uh, prompt that will answer to your to your uh, to your medical question for example so that doctor that before were uh, were uh, uh, occupied to general uh, medicine so to general medicine uh, a prescription could be used to other sector of health that will improve the health system so another uh, do you think that uh, we, what kind of uh, are you are you studying economics i think uh, or uh, economics yes what what other jobs will change in the next five ten years for for example for you how artificial intelligence will impact these jobs do you think uh, for example uh, uh, on a financial market i think do you think there will be a person who will decide where to invest or, uh, or, or where not to invest or to, to make some trading online and so on? There will be less and less human people that will, uh, will work for financial, uh, financial work with this uh, chat GPT bot. Okay. And some tax accountancy uh, advisor uh, 
there will be some uh, uh, always less and less job less and less to the inter uh, that that low skilled works okay on on this uh, on this sector and the where uh, uh, which jobs for you will not disappear, for example? All the manual jobs, almost in, ten, in five, ten years. So, hydraulic, for example, or uh, do you have any idea? Please. So all manual jobs, uh, I think, uh, they will not disappear in the next five, ten years. So we must face uh, this new technology change, new technology paradigm, paradigm change, uh, and think, uh, especially you, that uh, you are stu uh, uh, now you are students, uh, we must think about the next five, ten years impact uh, as we as we uh, felt about uh, digitalization of communication in the, in the last 10, 20 years, okay? For example, 20 years ago, for to interact uh, each other, we don't, we didn't have uh, to, we, we didn't have a, phone, a mobile phone to tell our friends. Uh, we must meet personally, people, person, to tell them uh, how to and exchange knowledge with them okay so we had a great uh, change in our li lives so you will have the same change with artificial intelligence machine learning and, and these things to everyday life okay the other things that i want to um, to tell you before going on with the, my my technology uh, my my topic on science and technology park uh, is uh, uh, that uh, developing country as India as uh, as India as uh, the BRICS the BRICS do you know what is the BRICS yeah uh, the BRICS country that now enlarged to uh, to other countries uh, had uh, an improvement on uh, investments on the investment on technology that were made by developing country for example a developing country didn't invest too much much in technology in telecommunication technology but had the positive impact of this technology so the investment were made by developed countries and the improvement, the positive effect you you had uh, is, for example, you don't uh, in the late nineties uh, we are telephone uh, were connected by uh, uh, were connected not uh, uh, on air uh, but were were connected by uh, ground or electrical uh, um, stuff, okay, uh, physical, okay. So, uh, the developed country had uh, a lot, uh, spent a lot of network uh, that were physical network. But when uh, this physical network uh, disappeared uh, with the digitalization and telecommunication improvement, uh, the, the developing country passed from not to have any communication to have directly the new way of the communication. Other things that uh, the improvement that were made were on health system. For example, uh, a lot of investment from pharmaceutical sector were made by developed country and had a positive effect on uh, developing countries. All, also without uh, the 
uh, intellectual property protection okay we saw in the late uh, in the, in the, during in the beginning of the two, this uh, century that uh, for example uh, HIV and the AIDS drugs uh, that were protected uh, by international patent uh, uh, developing country thought to leave this protection for developing country because uh, the this uh, uh, is, uh, uh, this is uh, caused a uh, impact on the lives of uh, the developing country that were more high that uh, 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 of the protection of the intellectual property by patents so developed country made a lot of investment and funding that the developing country must must be smart to to uh, to foster his competence and competitiveness on that relays on this improvement okay so uh, now we are, nowadays uh, we are facing uh, in uh, developed the world uh, uh, the way of uh, the, the the way of uh, the, which are the best policies uh, technology public policy to foster uh, innovation and technology for uh, firms okay so to make much improvement on uh, on uh, uh, firm uh, competitiveness okay and uh, nowadays in Italy we we use this policy public policies to create science and technology parks and uh, what is a science technology park is So Science Park, as we can see, is an organization by a specialized professionals whose main aims is to increase the wealth of his communities, community, and by promoting the culture of innovation and competitiveness of his associated business and knowledge-based institution. So. This was a definition of 2070s made by International Association Association of Science Park, and uh, is a large definition of what we intend for a science and technology park. A science and technology park is a, a place, a territory, so the localization is important of. Uh, uh, small and medium enterprises that uh, uh, form like the 60 70 percent about uh, all the firms and also multinational enterprises but not only inter firms big and small firms are located in this science and technology park there were university department university department and other no profit organization okay and uh, uh, other uh, and uh, above all service for uh, these firms that needs to better to be more competitive and better uh, and better uh, in, 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 in to improve the the way to make goods okay So, uh, at the beginning of uh, the, the, uh, the, the studies on these parks uh, were uh, uh, at the beginning of the uh, 90s and then, then uh, uh, in, in during these centuries, centuries uh, where uh, there were a lot of studies to see if this uh, science and technology park uh, were uh, so good uh, to foster innovation technology on firms so uh, the effectiveness of a science park in uh, sustaining uh, 
and inducing on park on park firms means that the firms that are inside the park okay innovative performance as a sensitive excessively debated not only among scholars among academics in innovation studies but also in on with with the practitioner and the poly, public policy maker these two the, this is due to the increasing role of this kind of park as an innovation policy tool both in developed and in developing countries okay so indeed one of the most important reason for development and diffusion of this institution is their positive effect on tenants inside the park performance in, in terms of innovation economic growth and creation of a relationship with academia so university through the incorporation of diverse public and private organization okay many studies has also analyzed the role of science park in promoting firms growth and innovation as well as development of the surrounding area because also the surrounding area were affected positively affected by this kind of uh, uh, parks highlighting a set of factors for example the proximity the proximity of a university uh, laboratories and research center the presence of incubators do you know what is an incubator? Do you know what is an incubator? Do you know what is a startup company? So incubators are places where idea from people are transformed in uh, in firm in. Uh, uh, business so an idea can be transformed in a business okay a profitable business okay it's very important the, the incubators are very important in developing countries because many people many people has only good idea but don't don't have the competence to transform this idea in the business uh, uh, success okay and uh, so the present of the uh, presence of incubators the creation of networking opportunities networking opportunities are the opportunities that uh, every firms must have uh, to interact with other firms in a certain sector for example for a specialization and so on and the role of the bridging institution bridging institution are public always public institution that make a bridge between enterprises and the university okay so the studies on on the effect on on the effect of, of this to be in the park on performance of a firm can be um, can be in divided in three main dimensions so the firm's economic performance the tenants innovation and the firm's patterns of a co co uh, cooperation okay uh, especially with the university and the other centers as a researcher as academic how do we measure this kind of variable for example economic performance uh, how to measure the economic performance of a firm how to see if a firms the number for example the number of employee so if an enterprise is a firm the, at time t0 as 10 employee at time t1 as 
15, 15 employees is better or worse? Better. Uh, so this variable is employment uh, can be a proxy variable to measure uh, economic performance. Another variable to measure uh, economic performance improvement of firms can be also the you can read you can read it uh, the sale so the re revenue of uh, so how much uh, uh, the firm sell in the market okay if it is improved uh, one year with an, with the past year there is uh, an uh, economic improvement uh, on the performance the? Uh, the the very productivity is um, for example in the microeconomics you must know how to measure productivity is the pro productivity of factors labor productivity uh, so above all labor productivity so if uh, the same uh, goods are made uh, in the same time by the 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 less employee that means that uh, product uh, la labor productivity increase so if in one in one day uh, we used to do uh, 10 goods with one uh, with with the two people the person and the 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 the, the day the, the year later the with, in the same time we we use only one person the labor productivity improves because uh, we use one person less to to produce the same the same product in the same time okay uh, so yeah Le, with the, in, in the statistics with the with the statistic annual statistics uh, almost in Europe, uh, we had uh, annual statistics uh, that uh, measure uh, the labor productivity of one sector or one other sector. Or uh, for firms inside the park, uh, we can uh, use a survey, for example, to to ask uh, uh, to the firms. Uh, we 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 use it in these studies. We use it a survey to. Uh, to know about the improvement of labor productivity in one year with another year. So the main uh, instrument uh, is a survey to measure labor, to measure, to have uh, the proxy of labor productivity. For, do you have another idea for uh, how to measure labor productivity? Do, do you have another idea how to measure productivity on the firms? No. with the with the survey because otherwise you don't have the 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 real number of people that work at the, the in that uh, in that uh, process for that uh, for that firm if you don't ask the firm to give you the numbers you don't have you can't have the numbers so survey is the best way is the best way is the way we use it to measure labor productivity in in a micro in micro in micro firms so at the micro level because at the macro level we have statistics that already measure labor productivity okay so innovation performance uh, the variable of innovation performance are uh, are connected also with the productivity because uh, we 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 must know the input and the output so the productivity is related to input and output yeah so it's con this uh, this variable this uh, this variable are connected with the productivity that my colleague 
said before. So, and R and D productivity, we can uh, we can uh, uh, use a patent, for example, to know if that firm has, has registered in that period of time, uh, that period of time, uh, a patent. Okay, and we can uh, patent with the, the cost of R and D that uh, that firm has spent during that period. Okay, um, so there are also variable for cooper for cooperation uh, to measure cooperation partners are uh, variable as a uh, uh, cooperation with other on park firms so if we sell an intermediate good to other firm that are in the park that means cooperation with the firms okay so or if uh, if uh, a firm make uh, with another firm uh, a cooperation to to produce the same good that they sell to another uh, another firm is that is that for us a proxy um, uh, a proxy of uh, cooperation okay uh, also the extent of interaction with i educational institution okay this can be measured with the, the number of uh, relationship internship for example stages uh, made with okay and uh, also educational institution is a proxy. So if uh, I, uh, and uh, the research center use the, the public fund to produce the same good, uh, to help me to produce a good, uh, that uh, joint research on uh, a specific good, a specific technology, okay? So the various studies uh, uh, analyzed the impact uh, on, uh, on t of this variable on, uh, uh, on, for example, here on economic performance of the firm. Uh, most of them, for example, on employment uh, has evaluated uh, a positive effect, okay? Also on uh, sales, uh, and uh, productivity profitability not uh, as is not a variable that has uh, been studies so as uh, as uh, my colleague was telling before on productivity is a variable that is not easy to measure so that's why studies studies on uh, on the effect of this this variable on economic performance okay are on sales and employment because are the variable that are easy to to uh, to intercept on balance balance sheet okay and um, on in, in the, uh, the impact on innovation performance or uh, to be or not to be in Lines Park uh, has been uh, uh, studies by a lot of scholars, a lot of colleagues during the year. And um, for example, the, the in, in, input, uh, as input, they studies the R&D intensity. So the R&D expenditures on sales, okay? And uh, all of these studies, uh, said that uh, this has a positive effect on innovation performance. So also the workforce force quality has a positive effect on innovation performance. This can be measured, this can be found in the balance sheet, this can be find, can be find in, the, in the survey that uh, uh, can be asked to the firms that are inside the, the park. The patent activities uh, is the, mo the variable most used uh, for uh, the output uh, because um, 
it, there is a uh, official uh, uh, official uh, um, uh, patent uh, uh, so patent office uh, there is a U european patent office there is a uspto that the united states patent office that has uh, a huge huge data sets on uh, on um, uh, on uh, on this uh, uh, on on the patent activity of the firms so in this data set we, we can find the firm every firm that patent we also know an important things that we also know uh, which patent are uh, have a positive uh, a positive uh, um, how to say uh, are granted and uh, which one are not granted so we can see also if there is a positive uh, a, a positive uh, uh, the the expenditure or r d had a positive effect not only in uh, applying a patent but also if the patent has been gran granted because not all, all the patent that has been applied will be granted. Because if they fault in novelty or originality, they don't, they don't will be granted by the patent office. Another thing that is very important in the patent activities is that when you submit an application for a patent, you must say oh, in the application form uh, of, on which uh, knowledge is based your patent, okay? So, for example, if my patent is based on knowledge that has already been registered in other patent, uh, I must say that uh, uh, this new patent uh, is based on uh, an old patent uh, and improve this old patent. So we can study also if the innovation is radical or not radical. Is radical when uh, that doesn't cite any. Like when you put your thesis, okay? It means that this is your, your work. Uh, your work is original but is based on previous knowledge that gives us an idea of knowledge flows our knowledge flows be, uh, during the year during the sector and so on recent studies on uh, patents see that the most valuable valuable valued patents so the patent that has more value are the patent that cite that add citation to other patent so in the different sector so more more sector more patent of of different sector you cite more probable probably is the that your patent add a great value so that's why is um, is based on the on the thinking that uh, uh, the, the 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 innovation value is formed by not only in a sector is intersectoral uh, is intersectoral and must be co must must cover must cover uh, different technology okay uh, if you if you think that for example USA had not uh, any ministry of industry during the year because uh, the, in the industrial policy of USA in the in the, during the during the last century was made by NASA and uh, and uh, so the the um, uh, uh, the investment uh, in uh, military and in uh, uh, astronautical uh, in astronautical uh, technology that made a positive impact on other technology 
for example, on optics, on chemicals, on mechanicals, on every, so every sector is impacted by, by investment in sector that don't have a, a di di direct, uh, direct uh, impact, direct, direct uh, uh, exit on the market. So military, astronautical investment made by USA had made uh, positive effect on all sector connected to this, uh, to this, uh, to this investment. So uh, patenting activities so can be measured by a patent. Uh, as you, as we, I, as I said before, a patent is a, a new idea of a new product, okay, uh, that we registered to protect our idea, okay. It can be a, a product, can be a drug, for example. Only few things cannot be patented. For example, software cannot be patented. So soft for software, we don't have this kind of proxy, this kind of variable. Uh, another variable, variable that uh, is measured to value the impact on innovation performance is new products development and innovation sales. And uh, uh, this, uh, as, as, as seen, that has not, uh, uh, is not significant because uh, as productivity is, is, is hard to measure because uh, only with the survey we can, uh, we can know which new product, which sales belong to one new product. So, new, so, uh, so, we can connect this new product with this uh, uh, with the expenditure of the, for this product. On uh, cooperation partners, uh, we the most uh, the most used variable is uh, the extent of interaction with HEIs. So the number of interaction with the university the number of interaction with, uh, uh, with the local, the, with the research center. Uh, we saw that uh, this has uh, most of the time a positive impact. Uh, and uh, also naturally the joint research with the HEI because, uh, because, uh, um, because uh, when you do a joint research with the EI, is like you use uh, public fund, uh, public fund, uh, pa partially public fund. So uh, you have a positive effect of using public fund of uh, this institution to your sales. So it's very important. Uh, it's very important. And um, so which are our, th th this, uh, uh, until now we analyzed what, in which way other scholars analyze the impact of uh, to, to be inside the site spark or to be outside. How we did uh, this uh, in Italy for uh, this work uh, I am, uh, uh, I am uh, uh, presenting today. Um, we build an original database uh, regarding 26 Italian science park uh, and 47 for 470 firms located inside the park or associated with the park. Okay, so our final data, database includes science park features like sites, employees, number of firms and university, number of project research networks, and uh, the characteristic of the firms that uh, are inside the parks. So the patenting activities by uh, seeing uh, the, the patent office, uh, European patent office, and uh, the turnover, the age, and the size of the firm. Uh, so it is uh, based on a, a survey, as we said before, 
firm per performance uh, were evaluated along the period from 2006 to 2013. All the information uh, about this uh, science park uh, was collected uh, through uh, an excessive survey that we made uh, to the um, uh, to the 470 firms, okay? While the information on char the characteristics that uh, we can, we can uh, uh, be, uh, that, uh, that are uh, reliable in public data set uh, was ob obtained by Orbis database, that is a database on, uh, uh, on a balance sheet, on the balance uh, expenditure of the firm, okay? And the uh, European Patent Office for the, the patent, and the World, pa World pa Patent Statistical Database. So, uh, all this, uh, as I said, uh, include information on company, all, all companies are, are across the globe. PatSat com contains bibliographical and legal status patent data for uh, industrialized and developing countries. So, matching, the, matching these two data sets allowed us uh, to get data on both economic activities and innovation patterns of the company in our data set, okay? How to see if uh, a firm is, uh, has a positive impact, uh, has a positive impact to be in, uh, in a science park? Imagine you are a researcher. Imagine you are a researcher. How to see if a firm that uh, is inside a science park uh, has positive effect on uh, to, to be inside the science park? Yeah, so imagine you are um, a doctor. Okay. How to see if uh, a, a drug uh, that you suggested to a patient, a, a, your, uh, a person that uh, asked you for, uh, for, for, the, for, uh, for a, a treatment uh, as a positive on that pa a patent, if improve, the symptoms. So, when, uh, for example, uh, we try to um, we try to understand if it works or not works. How, how there is a way to do for uh, pharmaceutical firms to build. To build two groups, okay, that has the same characteristics, okay, and uh, you give the drug group and give the placebo to other group, right? So if, uh, as we we the they did with the COVID vaccine, I, I if we see that uh, the firm the the people receiving the drugs have improvement respect to the others with the same characteristics okay uh, that received a, a drug called the placebo uh, it means that our treatment works but why we did we we give a placebo to other group because we don't they don't have to know if they are receiving the true drug or not the true uh, the, the, the the true drug or not because in for, for this works for pharmaceutical reason because there can be a placebo effect for receiving 
uh, a, a drug that that is uh, that is not uh, uh, an effective drug, drug, especially for example for psychological, psychological or uh, uh, some disease uh, uh, that uh, uh, add uh, a psycho psychological aspect. Okay, so. Uh, going back to economics uh, and firms, uh, how to see if uh, <clears throat> if uh, um, to be inside uh, a park uh, is effective, uh, is as a positive eff effect on the firm uh, instead not to be inside a park. So we build uh, a control, we say in economics, a control group uh, Data set, database, the firms that we have in the data set. So uh, it must be this, this, this uh, data set have the same, the same number of firms that have the same number of employees of, the, of the, our data set, the same number of firms that have the same revenue uh, volume of our group. So we build an identical. Uh, control group uh, with the same characteristic uh, randomly uh, from uh, a database that could be Orbis, uh, okay? That could be a uh, 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 same database that we had, we used to 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 build our data set, okay? Uh, for in our case, uh, the on park firms uh, were located. Uh, mostly on North Italy, okay? And the control group, uh, were, uh, control group firms uh, were located also, uh, had the same geogra geographical distribution, but uh, predominantly with the difference of one region that I uh, had a higher distribution, okay? So we, we had these two, data set so the same character characteristic imagine two two group of people that will receive the same tr treatment one receive the true treatment one receive not the true treatment so one is in the park one is outside the park okay the results uh, that uh, the research uh, explored the role the role of science park in sustaining and stimulating the innovative performance of the firm and has put emphasis on the heterogeneity of firms that are inside uh, the science park in terms of economic performance and innovative capabilities so the research question we we have we we, we make, uh, we made, uh, where uh, do on park firms outperform off park competitors in terms of innovative performance? What are the firms specific and size park specific feature, feature affecting the likelihood and the intensity of a firm's innovative results of this uh, study? That were published on technological forecasting and uh, so indicate that Science Park play a, a remarkable role in stimulating uh, innovation performance. Uh, the research activity and development of innovation of tenants or of, of firms inside the park uh, has an eye effect in, in those of with the high level of innovative level of innovativeness. So those firms that high had the level of innovatives of innovativeness had the better performance. So Science Park sustain innovative firms in their innovative activities, but not uh, act as real seedbeds of innovation for company that don't have uh, don't have a so, uh, absorptive capacity derived from prior knowledge and R&D investments. That means that uh, you can't create, as I told before, you can't create from zero 
a science park and uh, collect uh, firms inside and put firms inside the science park to us to have a positive effect uh, on that firms there must be a ground before uh, so a positive uh, innovative ground before uh, uh, locating uh, firms inside the parks a dispositive uh, uh, ground can be only a previous knowledge uh, previous knowledge uh, underground of the firms previous no, uh, R&D investment, and uh, above all, uh, interaction with uh, university, uh, uh, university that are located in the park. And the distance for this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of firms, uh, uh, distance between uh, where the firms is and where the university is, uh, is important, uh, is also important. So, we we cannot put together two entities a firm a university that are far away from each, each other so the university must be located near the firms because the knowledge produced by university must be near the firms to understand better which which are the firms uh, which are the firm's uh, um, uh, needs uh, as uh, as for job uh, job labor uh, job labor uh, job uh, uh, job type job type of uh, needs uh, that the firms have. Okay. Uh, so research network represented the most relevant mechanism to stimulate firms inside the park innovativeness and that firms with the prior experience experience in research are the ones uh, are the ones who are the most able to reap the benefits from the development of research collaboration okay these are these are the results of our studies that uh, in uh, some sense uh, confirm also the studies the previous studies uh, done uh, by our colleague before uh, and after okay i is, is finished i would like to thank you very much and uh, uh, i give you the floor to some question if there is some question about this uh, this studies thank you You're on time. Now the session is open for discussion. So can I, can I ask you maybe if uh, there is, a, do you know some science and technology park near uh, in Kerala or in India that uh, is well known? For example, in uh, in Italy, we, we know that uh, in Bang Bangalore, 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 there are a lot of uh, these kind of science park. Is, is, is that true? I think the students wants a couple of minutes. Just yeah. So in the previous slides, you mentioned that there was a positive impact on the employment sector, but OECD data uh, tries to paint a bleaker picture. You know that uh, there is a large population of. 
uh, low productive uh, small and micro enterprises in Italy. Do you refute that data? What? Uh, OECD data, that in the previous slides, right? Uh, you mentioned there is a positive impact uh, on employment, but OECD data paints a bleaker picture. It's stating that there is a large population of low productive micro enterprise in Italy. Do you refute that data? When I take that data? Uh, no, do you, uh, what's your take on that, sir? Ah, okay. okay. Yes, uh, uh, there is a positive effect on employment uh, because uh, uh, to be in the park uh, give uh, the firms the opportunity to, to have a di direct uh, channel uh, with the, the university. So, uh, so this direct channel uh, it gives the, inter the firms, the enterprise, uh, also a positive uh, competitive uh, effect because uh, the, the students uh, that uh, do the stage or the internship inside uh, the, the, the firms located inside the park, uh, surely has uh, a level of say salary that uh, uh, is uh, less uh, than uh, the one who already is outside uh, the, the park, so out, already finished the university. So the other, the other things that uh, we saw in the last year that uh, uh, it's important for firms to invest in young students that not has uh, not already finished the studies because uh, it's very important for the firms to make uh, a fidelization with the students and with the, the university, both in terms of reputation of the firms, both in terms of uh, less salary that they, they give to, the, to this kind of students. And they, uh, they manage the, 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 the new worker and the model of the new worker uh, with the, they in in uh, in relation with their needs with the, the the day work needs so the worker is not we're not outside and then we have a transition cost to 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 teach this this worker how to work in our firms so it's very important to be inside the park and have a direct channel with, with the university. Good morning, sir. Batting him back. Okay. Good morning, sir. Batting technological adoption across various sectors in Italy. I didn't understand. COVID. Okay. Yeah. There are a lot of uh, positive impact. When uh, some, uh, when some, I, I call before uh, some ex exogenous shock happen, uh, there is, could be a f market failure. What, what does it mean market failure? That uh, uh, mar the market, uh, so the demand, the offer of the market uh, doesn't. Uh, reach a point of equilibrium they self. So there is a need for external intervention to put this equilibrium again, okay? This, has, this happens always with exogenous, exogenous shock, okay? To build this equilibrium again, the only uh, on, on the market, uh, uh, we need an intervention with the public policy, okay? Public policy put uh, again an equilibrium in this market. For example, uh, for, for, for political company would have invest in uh, uh, re, uh, how, how to say in English? This re, uh, how, how to say in English? This is a rare, rare disease. Rare is not not uh, that is not uh, you can say rare, rare disease. Rare is not not uh, that is not uh, 
you can say rare, rare, rare disease in English. Yeah, disease that is that only two person over a, over a million has that disease. Which is the company, pharmaceutical company that invests in that million has that disease? Which is the company, pharmaceutical company that invests in that for a drug for a drug in that disease? I think no, 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 no private enterprises will invest in that disease. Okay, to find the drug for that disease. This happened with the, with the, uh, the technology of uh, RNA. RNA. Uh, before that, uh, the mRNA were that yesterday. I think there was uh, they gave the Nobel Prize to to the to the for medicine to the people to the person that thirty that that, that forty years before uh, found that is mRNA um, uh, uh, type of drug. But no one invested until the disease, the market asked for that disease. But the, in that case, uh, in, in this case, uh, firms, uh, pharmaceutical firms, were not prompt, were not ready to uh, analyze and uh, find the drug. So, in, uh, a very important. Uh, things that happened in the health sector is the public fund of this, uh, uh, this, this kind of drug, this kind of mechanism drugs. And that will have a positive effect in the next 10 years because they are funding, they are, uh, they are, uh, they, they, there are new discover on how um, these tech, uh, drug techniques um, uh, RNA uh, could uh, solve uh, also other disease. Okay, uh, so the ne next ten years will be uh, 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 the new and the old disease. Another, another uh, uh, of this, uh, after COVID, it was in a logistic. Log it was in a logistic. Uh, Logistic uh, as a market of about uh, uh, twenty, a market of about uh, uh, twenty thirty percent of the global GDP. So, a new new way of uh, uh, value chain uh, uh, to collect new goods. Uh, way of uh, dif so, uh, above all to differentiate uh, the the suppliers, uh, so, uh, above all, to differentiate uh, the, the suppliers. Uh, it's important for the firms we have seen uh, on COVID that uh, every firm must differentiate uh, his suppliers. Uh, so we don't, we don't have to have only one supplier, but he has uh, to, to have uh, more suppliers also from different countries, because uh, if one country is uh, fall in war, for example, as uh, Ukraine or uh, other, other countries, the, the firm mu must be ready to find uh, a new supplier or to use the, suppl the, the supplier he, he already has to, uh, to have uh, all the furniture that the, the firm needs to produce the items. Another impact uh, a positive impact uh, is uh, on uh, the wave of, uh, uh, or, uh, I, I talk about Europe uh, above all, uh, the way of uh, uh, we, we, we work. Uh, so the use of a digi digital uh, the, uh, platform for, uh, for work to, to interact with, with others and uh, it's important, uh, it was important to have this shock to, for us to be forced to use this platform, the digital platform. Now, 
Nowadays, we can't do, uh, we, we can't work without this, this platform that, uh, for, for example, five years, we, we were uh, reluctant to use uh, this platform. So, the, uh, there are, uh, it's like, uh, we, it's like we had, after COVID, a, a booster of our uh, needs, and that our needs uh, Found the the found the the uh, the reply the response of total sample size is around four hundred. Is it correct? Your methodology. Total sample size is around 400. Your methodology, total sample size is around 400, 400 farms. And one group is taken as a control group and another one is experimental group. So what is the number of control group and what is the number of experimental group? And another question, how you ensure the homogeneity in the initial stage? What is the criteria used in the experimental group and control group to ensure the homogeneity? For controlling the experiment. So the the uh, I remember that the, the control group were made about five hundred eleven uh, firms, so more than uh, four hundred and seventy. We uh, we ensure we will try to ensure homogeneity uh, of these firms. Uh, by uh, the, at the beginning, uh, start, start, starting point, okay, by having the same uh, characteristic. Uh, so, for, for example, uh, geographical, uh, geographical uh, characteristic and uh, 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 the characteristic I said before, and above all, uh, we uh, to ensure. Uh, homogeneity of this group, uh, this different group, uh, we, uh, for the other group, uh, we, we, we tried to, to see if they were, they were or not were in the park uh, or, or had the relationship with the university before. So it was not uh, uh, easy work to, to, to establish uh, uh, homogeneity at the, at the beginning, but uh, at the end we, we did with this uh, characteristic. Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. Thank you for the for the question. So for the control group, we made uh, a survey for the four seventy, but when we made uh, the the control group, the 511, we also made a, an initial 470. No, our data set is 470. The control sample is 511. Okay. To ensure homogeneity, we, we had a survey of our sample. The survey were uh, uh, our sample. But uh, on the control group, uh, we made uh, an initial surveys to see if they have they had before uh, uh, contact with the university and so on, to be sure that they they had no contact and so on, to be sure that they they had no contact with the university before. Okay, so that, um, for example, if you treat uh, uh, for the university before, okay? So that, um, for example, if you treat uh, a, for with the drug, uh, a group, uh, the drug, uh, a group, uh, and another group, uh, you must be sure that the control group is not taking other medicine, for example, to, to be, uh, if, because if the control group is taking other medicine, that you you don't know can can uh, uh, affect the the results of the of the studies. Okay, 
Oh, yeah. Thank you for the question. Good morning, sir. Yeah. My question is, uh, why gen uh, we generally know that the improvements in technology or the adoption of new innovations in technology creates unemployment? Could you please, uh, because I don't understand very well. We generally know that the improvements in technology or the adoption of new innovations in technology creates unemployment. Creates unemployment. Unemployment. Do you agree this statement? No. Uh, it uh, takes time to adapt. Fa the labor factor uh, is new technology. So people who, who, who get unemployed at the, at the beginning, uh, surely we will, will find a new job uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, will is, is maybe uh, in the first uh, in the first uh, period of uh, the adoption of this new technology could be could ha we could have unemployment but it could have unemployment but in the mid uh, long term uh, we surely we don't have unemployment of, in adopting new te technology because the m labor market will adapt itself uh, new kind of jobs uh, and uh, as we said before that will be uh, available okay on the market so, so. hello so my question is that how can science park facilitate the transfer of technology and knowledge from university and research station to startups and industries how let me say once again, how can Science Park facilitate the transfer of technology and knowledge from universities and research institutions to startups and yeah. industries? Okay. So, uh, as, as I said before, incubators uh, are, uh, are the best way, are, uh, the best uh, uh, way to, to traduce, uh, to, for tra to pick up uh, ideas uh, from uh, from uh, inside the university and transform the idea in uh, business uh, enterprises. So this can uh, be done uh, only with, uh, with uh, the assistance of uh, some, uh, uh, this kind of incubator that give service, uh, that give the opportunity to this idea to be known to the venture capitalist that would like to invest to to this to, uh, on this idea, and also on the, there is a new form of uh, investment that is uh, the crowdfunding, uh, that could be a way of uh, for incubator inside the science park to 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 receive funding from from external uh, uh, external uh, investors. Okay. Good morning, sir. So you suggested some uh, things like product. Uh, productivity. Uh, so I it's my fault. Uh, uh, so, uh, you listed some things uh, earlier, like productivity and employability in the economic outcomes. Yeah. So does we take profit as an economic outcome? So do you mean uh, if uh, and uh, employment uh, can can do what? Can so uh, does we take profit as an economic outcome? I does we oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, all right. So you mean if the profit can be. I, I think uh, yes. Uh, the the first objective of a firm is the profit, uh, so the economic performance. But uh, is not uh, is not. We are not sure that that profit uh, belong to the new Im the improvement of the the technology. So we, we it can be a profit uh, uh, gave by maybe the. For, for example, monopoly, or uh, because there are uh, uh, entry barrier to a market. So the profit uh, 
can be a, 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 a economic outcome, can be, but must be uh, used with other, with 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 this other uh, uh, variable. So labor, uh, employment, productivity cannot be used alone. The profit, I think, is what I think. Sir, uh, in the beginning, uh, you stated that uh, information and technology uh, positively influences relationships. Relationships. So um, my question is that uh, in the recent, uh, there has been this semiconductor industry, Sem semiconductor. which is a semi semiconductor. Oh, yes. Yeah. So uh, that is a product of innovation, and it has strained international relations. Like uh, America has imposed sanctions on China regarding. Uh, semiconductor um, technology and also there has been a power struggle in Taiwan between US and China regarding semiconductor industry. So are we uh, going to see uh, an era where uh, information and technology uh, declines relationships especially in the international level? So um, this happened in the principle because uh, after pandemic uh, uh, big nation uh, as the USA, as China, as Europe, uh, and so on, uh, felt uh, that they were, uh, how to say, um, on, on some sector that, that were, they, they were dependent from other, other country. It can be a, a, a negative point for them, for their economy. That's why they put um, they use uh, this type of sanction to to say we are not we not uh, uh, we are uh, we must our public policy mu must invest in this uh, uh, sector that we are uh, we have a dependency from other nation because this other nation could uh, use this, this sector as uh, a geopolitical uh, point of uh, uh, geopolitical point of um, uh, how to say um, of to, be, to to make this uh, uh, after covid this is that uh, semiconductor they, they europe were not able to construct semiconductor alone that is not good for a nation, for a, a country, for a nation big as Europe. Okay, so what, what they did, they did. Uh, uh, let's put uh, with USA sanction on other other uh, uh, nation like China, like like uh, uh, Taiwan is also a, a particular. Uh, 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 so w with the, this kind of sanction, uh, we. Uh, we, we, we use a public policy to fund new uh, firms of, uh, in, inside Europe to produce semiconductor. So Europe don't uh, spend money on this, uh, with these countries on this sector, but use this money with our firms to be independent in this sector as a semiconductor. So it's a, it's a geopolitical, uh, War is not a war uh, in, in itself, but is a, a war that is happening in many sectors. Uh, semiconductor is one of them uh, on the relationship between big, uh, big uh, uh, nation, big uh, states like USA, uh, Europe, China, uh, Russia, and China. Okay. Also, the new entry of uh, 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 other country in the BRICS uh, in the BRICS uh, is a, a geopolitical uh, response uh, reply to this uh, aspect. So uh, they they try to solve the, the dependency problem of the nation in in, in certain sector because they saw that could be a. a, a that could be not not good, not good for uh, for uh, for a country to be dependent from another country. Okay, as uh, Europe for uh, gas and oil with Russia, as uh, 
Europe for semiconductor with China and Taiwan. Uh, so they, they are all uh, for gale or uh, gale, uh, gas and oil. There is a war, a physical war. On the other side, there are not physical war but uh, trade wars that uh, is happening and uh, will happen in the future more frequently. Okay. That uh, with the advent of artificial intelligence and technology, uh, there would be like lawyer, doctor. These professions uh, require a humanitarian face. So, um, uh, do you agree that there will not be any ethical, the ethical issues which will come due to technological developments? Uh, I, I think there there will be an ethical issue. Uh, above all, on prof, prof, profil uh, in English it's a. a Profilization, profilization of a human being. Uh, it's a, a very, uh, it will be a very great problem. For example, uh, an insurance, health insurance, uh, knowing your uh, parameters, uh, uh, no, will uh, predict how how how. How, how many years you will live and uh, which uh, disease is probably you got, uh, uh, which, which health insurance will do with the artificial insurance, uh, intelligence, which health insurance will do an insurance with the, the same price of, uh, um, uh, as, as I said before, the, uh, uh, the, the, the example we did before, uh, that there will be ethical issues, there will be uh, ethical issues that must be solved before, I think, they, they will appear. So uh, it is uh, this kind of um, issue must be solved in, uh, not in, uh, uh, inside the nation, but I think it must be solved globally. So with, uh, for example, United Nations or, or, or organism that, uh, regular, regulatory organism that uh, will, uh, will uh, give uh, some uh, direction to the, this et ethical issue. Okay, thank you. Please note, those who have not registered through the participation link, make sure to do it for receiving participation certificate. I now invite Joel for... Good afternoon all, respected dignitaries and respected participants. Today, we have witnessed a wonderful session. So first of all, I would like to thank Professor Roberto Mavilia for sharing his valuable thoughts on how information and technology impact the performance of firms, and also how the firms that are situated uh, inside the scientific parks outperform out those on the outside of the parks with uh, great empirical evidence from uh, his own native country, Italy. So uh, on behalf of the, the Department of Economics, I'm thanking Professor Roberto Mavilia. Thank you, sir. Now I would like to thank the head of department, Dr. Charlie Matthews, for arranging such a highly informative seminar. Thank you, ma'am. Now I would like to thank all the participants of the seminar. I'm sure each, of one of, each one of us got a very wide knowledge on both topics. Thank you all. And last but not least, on behalf of the Department of Economics, I would like to thank the IQEC team and management for the successful conduction of the seminar. Thank you very much. I would like to thank you, you for uh, uh, to be here, to, to give me the, the, for my English that is not perfect, uh, I, I tried to, to let me understand that in the better way. I would like to thank you, my prestigious colleague, uh, uh, 
uh, Professoressa Shalini Matthews and uh, uh, Mary, Mary, Anthony, no, Mary Anthony and my colleague. Uh, thank you very much to be here to to interact with me. It's it's has it's, it's been a pleasure. It's very important uh, for uh, uh, for remember that it's very important uh, for us uh, and for you to interact uh, in the in the in the best way with the, this opportunity that the university and the department gives to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, all can leave.